Hi guys, it's Vanessa with Color Me Face Painting and I'm back with another Frozen tutorial. This design is pretty similar to the first one, but that's the point of these series is to show you how you can change one or two things and still have a new design. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to start off with the first two colors on top, which is the um, Global Dark Blue and DFX White, and I'm using a one inch flat brush. And keeping in mind with the first design that I showed you, um, instead of starting off at the center, I'm going to create a rainbow as the backdrop. Now don't worry about filling in the middle with the white, you want to leave it empty. Now I'm going to use the bottom half of the split cake and I'm going to be using the 3 4 flat brush for it leading with the darkest color on top because we have the white behind there and you're going to kind of cover that empty space uh, below the rainbow with the design that we used in our first frozen video which is the three um, half circles at the top which is creating the crown. Now we're adding two teardrops starting from the top to the center of the design to just build off the crown. And then switch your brush around to lead with the white to frame the eye. And then add those two teardrops at the bottom. And do the same thing on the other side. And again it's just pressing down and lightly letting go. And again flip the brush around and lead with the white. And add those two teardrops at the bottom. Using the same brush, I'm going to paint the eyes. And again, I like to use the darkest color closest to the eyelash line just to give that eyeliner effect. You'll notice so far the only difference uh, between this design and the first design is um, the rainbow that we painted in the beginning. Now I'm using the BAM 1030 stencil and I'm going to use the biggest snowflake for the focal point and I'm just going to sponge it in with the DFX white. Now I'm using a mini version of the stencil that I was just using. This is called the HAS 1030 and I'm just putting in uh, snowflakes at the top of the um, eyebrow and two at um, on the cheekbones which is kind of like just adding some falling snowflakes. Using the same stencil I'm going to add a few snowflakes at the top just to create that those falling snowflakes. Now I'm using a round number four brush with DFX white and I'm creating a series of teardrops all leading towards the uh, center snowflake and I'm going to create another set of teardrops um, on the outer corner eye. And now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side again creating a series of teardrops all leading towards the center snowflake. And then again I'll do um, another set of teardrops on the outer corner eye. So hopefully you guys are noticing that this is really similar to the design I first painted um, and that's the point of, of these um, tutorials is to show you just how to change a few things here and there um, to make these different. Now I'm just adding some teardrops on the inner corner eyes and again I'm using the same brush which is the round number four just lightly um, painting those on and I really like to add these to pretty much every single frozen design and with the same brush I'm just going to go ahead and add a few um, dots here and there again just creating that snowy effect and guys I'm sorry about my hand on her chin I normally don't paint this way but um, it's kind of difficult um, in this angle um, and I, I'm trying to have my hand not in the way so that you guys can see what I'm painting 
So now I'm just going to add some glitter and I'm using my dauber. Um, I'm just going to spritz it with some water to get it a little bit wet so I can pick up some of that glitter. And um, I really like this technique because I don't need to use my finger and I can just kind of dab glitter all over the design. I really love this glitter. Again, it's called azúcar, which means uh, sugar. And you can find out where you can buy this glitter down below. And for a simple final touch, I'm just adding a gemstone to the center of that snowflake. I hope you guys like this video. I just really wanted to show you guys that if you change one or two things of a design, it really makes a difference. And so I hope you are able to get some ideas and change some things of your own. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks!